by no means a uh, the Clint, Clint Eastwood Wild Wild West situation. Every African American, male, female, and child should be scared and upset about this law. The Stand Your Ground law now in Ohio, causing dissension among Valley leaders. Good evening, everyone. I'm Keeley Lovern. Governor Mike DeWine signed Ohio's Stand Your Ground legislation into law on January 5th. It had one change from the pre existing version, and that was to remove the language that required someone to retreat from a dangerous situation before they use deadly force. First News reporter Desiree Gosselin spoke to people on both sides regarding the new law. We've spoken to several people in the black community who say that this law would negatively impact minorities. But lawmakers who support the new Stand Your Ground law say it makes everyone, regardless of race, safer. It's, it's a common sense piece of legislation. Two voices. This law is very, very racist. On different sides. Regardless of your race, regardless of your sex, this is something that, that allows protection for all. Representative Al Catrona from Canfield voted in favor of changing the law. If the threat is imminent, it's, it's actually happening, and you're in complete fear for your life, why would you turn around and run from a threat where then now you become an easier target? We pulled some numbers on the application of similar laws around the country. According to a 2015 study on stand your ground laws in Florida by a group of professors from Harvard and two other universities, quote, the defendant is two times more likely to be convicted in cases that involve white victims compared to those involving non-white victims, end quote. This law in Florida is what determined the ruling for the George Zimmerman Trayvon Martin case in 2012, when Zimmerman, on neighborhood watch, shot and killed 17 year old Martin, who was unarmed. Zimmerman was found not guilty. Zimmerman's case, and that's an outlier and not the norm. We cannot create laws that uh, relate to one uh, situation. I mean, we have to look at what is the best for all? But one activist we spoke to says the law should have stayed the way it was. The law was fine for years all by itself. We've had stand your ground law in Ohio, but the wording where they don't have to retreat, that's the problem. Washington says he's afraid of how race might factor into the application of this law in court cases. This law is giving white folks the ability to not retreat if they feel threatened by me being six foot one, a big guy, and use deadly force because they felt that they're threatened by it. I'm talking about white America that we saw at the Capitol building, not the everyday white American that I run into at Kroger's and Myers. But lawmakers say this isn't so. This bill does not give you a free for all. You still are required to follow the rest of the elements that are necessary for self defense. Ohio is the 37th state to adopt this kind of stand your ground law, but it won't go into effect until 90 days after it was signed, which will be in early April. In the newsroom, Desiree Gosselin, WKBN 27, First News.